there's a lot of people who have who have written about the 25,920 year cycle. They're calling it the zodiacal cycle, the great age. And they claim that two destructions of the world happened during the cycle, roughly around 12,000 years. You've been seeing this 12,000 year number thrown out quite a bit. And then Graham Hancock sent in to add more details, such as Atlantis was 11,600 BC. He tells you all the time, just do the math, it's simple. Solon told Plato that the Egyptians told him that 9,000 years earlier from 600 BC when Solon heard this, Atlantis was destroyed. Now, I have several videos pointing out that all this is anachronistic. It's total, it's total BS. Every bit of it is BS. It was known to be BS by at least 40 different ancient authors and modern authors. And I cited them in a, a PDF download, just like the one you're going to get here on my last video, ranting about the ridiculousness of, of Graham Hancock's theories. So... I'm going to tell you now, there's not a single reference in any ancient text to a 25,920-year cycle, not one. It is debatable. It is debatable. And what I mean by that is you're welcome to debate me, but you're not going to be able to find a single reference. This is a very new idea. It's a very new idea. That the Egyptians knew of a zodiac is not true. Graham Hancock lied. The Egyptians did not know of the Zodiac unless you reinterpret what an Egyptian is. Let me explain. The Ptolemies were from Macedonia. Macedonia is northern Greece. The Ptolemies were Macedonian rulers of Egypt. Over 500 years after Egypt fell to Persia, Babylon, Assyria, they fell to Macedonia. Egypt fell to Alexander the Great. Egypt fell to Rome. The very oldest zodiac known in the world and acknowledged across the board in academia, all scholarship agrees the oldest zodiac is found in Egypt. It's at Dendera. It is a structure that was specifically built by Greeks in the Roman era around 75 to 100 A BC. Do you do you understand the problem here? For those of you who are not innate chronologists, the oldest depiction of a zodiac is only 2,100 years old, years ago. The oldest depiction. So it gets worse than this. This is not only the oldest depiction, and apparently it's the first. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to explain why. But it was built during the Roman era by Greeks living in Egypt, not by Egyptians, because Egyptian civilization lasted 26 dynasties. The first zodiac in Egypt appeared 500 years after the final Egyptian dynasty. That's a problem. It's a problem for Graham Hancock. The Egyptians knew of no Zodiac. They didn't know of a 25,920-year cycle either. Both of these are creative license inventions of Graham Hancock, published in his books and said over and over in documentaries and interviews. Now, these, not just these statements, but even the false statements about the 9,000 years of Plato. He hides behind the fact that, yes, there was a genuine mistake by Plato saying it was 9,000 years. But in order to promote that today, Graham Hancock has to ignore all the academics and scholars who long before Jason was even born had already said that wasn't 9,000 years. It was corrected in Plato's day to 9,000 moons, which puts Atlantis' story with the Sea People's 
Federation invasions of the Mediterranean in the 13th century BC. All of this has already been proven. Graham Hancock ignores it because it's not convenient to the narrative he has been hired to promote. This is where I'm going with this. This presentation on the Zodiac will collapse the entire Graham Hancock narrative and everybody who follows that BS. This goes way deeper than the fact that Graham Hancock got it wrong and the Egyptians never knew a Zodiac and they never knew a 25,920-year cycle for which you adopted a 12,000-year destruction cycle that you fit your Ice Age theory in. None of it's real. It's all invented. That's what we're going to get to in here after I drink this sip of coffee. Mm -hmm.